Welcome to the BioWhisper channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview on climate change. We will discuss from the angle as a game plan for change in this short video. Let's review the current outlook on climate change. Corporations and businesses are the main emitters with industries from industrialized nations as main emitters. There is always the choice for alternative renewable energy sources, but how soon or will they switch? Governments and intergovernment agencies have roles in enacting regulations, but at the global stage such as COP26, getting common agreement on carbon reduction targets is no easy task. Our video focus on the individuals, which play a small but no doubt significant role, where collectively, individuals can help nudge the transition towards greening efforts. As individuals understand more about climate change, a game plan has to be put in place, and we recommend a four-phase approach to look at it firstly. It is about increasing the awareness, and being mindful is a start. Once individuals are aware of the impacts and the benefits of small actions that they can take, it is revolving around foregoing convenience. Yes, owning and driving a car is convenient, but public transport can be equally effective. Individuals can vote for change and let their consumer behaviors and their choices shape companies' and businesses' actions. Sustainability is a hot up word and businesses aim to add sustainability where appropriate into their corporate strategy, services, and product offerings. Lastly, it is about being vocal and to speak up to champion sustainability movements. We will provide an overview of these four phases shortly. Contemporary climate change includes both global warming and its impacts on Earth's weather patterns. Understand the causes of climate change. Recognizing that planting new trees is not the same as keeping old trees, though still a greening effort. Understanding wildlife are also being threatened in terms of their homes and their diversity. Global warming has gained awareness and the news media headlines show that calls for talks, discussions, and moratorium indicate the urgency of the climate agenda. Burning coal, oil and gas produces carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide. Cutting down forests, deforestation. Trees help to regulate the climate by absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. When they are cut down, that beneficial effect is lost and the carbon stored in the trees is released into the atmosphere adding to the greenhouse effect. Increasing livestock farming. Cows and sheep produce large amounts of methane when they digest their food. Fertilizers containing nitrogen produce nitrous oxide emissions. Fluorinated gases are emitted from equipment and products that use these gases. Such emissions have a very strong warming effect greater than carbon dioxide. Deforestation is referred to as the clearing of forests. Food chains and webs are destroyed. Homes might be displaced for the wildlife. The impact has been a topic for assessment and relooking from the biodiversity aspect. It is important to understand that forests are key carbon sinks that help to forestall global temperatures from climbing. Reforestation is seen as an easy solution to replace any deforested region. A new tree planted for every tree cut down seems like a logical approach at least compared to not planting any. Reforesting is not an easy task. The pandemic has spurred efforts to regrow healthy forests and plants take time to grow. Wildlife are threatened for instance in the news articles, when forests are cleared, wildlife and endangered species lose their homes and deforestation creates a ripple effect for local wildlife. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates. With that out of the way, let's continue the discussion. What can individuals do? First, as consumers, we have to understand human action on wildlife diversity and climate change. On the energy usage front, it is as simple as switching off electric appliances when not in use, as crop production consumes energy, 
we should aim to minimize food waste, which contributes to around 5% of global emission during food production process. Keeping a green mindset, reforestation is important, and having the environmentally aligned mindset to keep the natural reserves intact as carbon sink where possible when compared to man-made parks which are less efficient carbon sink. Using public transport and walking for short distances are small moves towards the eco-friendliness outlook. The years from 2011 to 2020 was the warmest decade recorded, with global average temperature reaching 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels in the year 2019. Human-induced global warming is presently increasing at a rate of 0.2 degrees Celsius per decade. The disproportionate impact on the world's poorest people. Extreme weather disasters affect all countries, rich and poor. But as we face a future with enhanced risks, it is critical to face the reality of those who bear the burden of our changing climate. Some media headlines are shown here where extreme weather events such as tornadoes, cyclones, and floods affect the lives of people. Climate change is forcing people from their homes, bringing poverty on top of poverty and increasing hunger. People in poorer countries are at least four times more likely to be displaced by extreme weather than people in rich countries. For instance, the news media headlines Shown here includes the Australian bushfire that devastated homes, wildlife, and took great effort to blaze. On that note, the world faces a race against time to reduce emissions and help the most vulnerable cope with climate impacts that are already being faced today and will escalate in the years ahead. Burning coal, oil and gas produces carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide. Cutting down forests, deforestation. Trees help to regulate the climate by absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. When they are cut down, that beneficial effect is lost and the carbon stored in the trees is released into the atmosphere, adding to the greenhouse effect. Increasing livestock farming. Cows and sheep produce large amounts of methane when they digest their food. Fertilizers containing nitrogen produce nitrous oxide emissions. Fluorinated gases are emitted from equipment and products that use these gases. Such emissions have a very strong warming effect, up a few thousand times greater than carbon dioxide. Phase 3 would entail individuals doing their small part to buy from businesses that promoting sustainable business practices do not pollute the environment or have a clear sustainability agenda. Supporting through voting for sustainably sourced products with the money will shift the customer behavioral trends to reinforce the message to businesses to favor a positive change towards environmental friendliness. Companies that introduce sustainable offerings face a frustrating paradox. Most consumers report positive attitudes toward eco-friendly products and services, but they often seem unwilling to follow through with their wallets as such products could be more expensive. My feel is we are inching slowly towards that, it will take more push. Harnessing the power of social influence is one of the most effective ways to elicit pro-environmental behaviors in consumption. It is hip and it is cool to embrace sustainability. Charging for plastic bag consumption and urging of using recyclable bags is a good start and is being popularized for the past decade. We could do more in fact. Humans are creatures of habit where many behaviors, such as how we commute to work, what we buy, eat, and use are part of our regular routines. Often the key to spreading sustainable consumer behaviors is to first break bad habits and to encourage the adoption of new ones. Adopting a sustainable behavior makes people apt to make other positive changes. Who is Greta Thunberg? Thunberg became well known after she protested outside the Swedish parliament in 2018, when she was just age 15. She held a sign saying, school strike for climate, to pressure the government to meet carbon emissions targets. Greta, a climate campaigner, walks the talk and in 2019, Thunberg sailed across the Atlantic on a yacht to attend a climate conference in New York. 
the United Nations Climate Change Summits as well as climate events such as COP26 are examples of what can be instituted and championed at interagency levels. Making common agreements on carbon reduction commitments remain tough, but it is making inroads gradually. Interagencies' negotiation efforts and voicing out with campaigners such as Greta Thunberg and the likes of many others will be important to keep resonating the urgency of climate change in our global citizens. See you in our next video. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates. If you like this video, please smash the like button 